Hi everyone. Today we're going to look at the reaction between iron and sulphur. This reaction is often used as an example of a chemical reaction between two elements to make a new substance. Here we're doing it on a micro scale. First we prepare the mixture. We weigh out 0.25 grams of powdered iron and 0.15 grams of powdered sulphur and mix them thoroughly. You can just do this in a test tube but here we're using a glass pasta pipette that has had the bottom sealed. The reaction is easier to see this way. We now heat it and we're just using a small spirit burner here. The first thing you see is a sulphur melting and going a dark red. This is purely a physical change. You can also see sulphur vapour above the mixture. Then you see a sudden glow that not only persists when the heat is removed but continues and works its way up the tube. The reaction, once it starts, is exothermic and you can see the heat being given off. Once the reaction is over, let the tube cool and then extract the residue. We'll need to break the pipette for this. You can see that we have a shiny, grey, metallic looking substance. This is iron sulphide. To test it, we will add some dilute acid to a small sample of our solid and to a bit of our initial iron sulphur mixture as a control. Having added the acid, we dip a bit of lead acetate paper into each tube. The hydrogen sulphide reacts with the lead to make black lead sulphide. You can clearly see that in the tube with our starting materials there is no change, while in the tube with our product in, the paper rapidly turns black, showing that hydrogen sulphide is being produced and that we have indeed made iron sulphide. And so a chemical reaction has taken place.